field, Neil Walker, Tyler Austin, Tyler Wade. How are the Yankees feeling about that going into the season? Yeah. Oh, did we lose Sweeney? Hi, Sweeney. Over the course oh, of six is. to eight weeks. Oh, you we, guys hear me okay Yeah, now? we got you now. You were frozen there for a second, but we got you now, bud. All right. Technology is awesome. <laughs> uh, I feel like the Yankees, you know, are confident with what they have as far as the names you mentioned to fill a hole for six to eight weeks. That's, you know, that that's about as long as you want. Remember, a year ago, the Yankees had to play the first month without Gary Sanchez, without Didi Gregorius. They filled in-house and, and actually got off to a really good start before those guys got back. So uh, the Yankees feel like they can hold this down with guys you mentioned, with Walker, with Austin and Wade. Tyler Wade had terrific spring training, earned himself a spot on this team. So we know they're really good baseball players, Sweeney, Aaron Judge, John Carlos Stanton, but I'm not sure they've ever been on cover, the cover of magazines this frequently. All the season previews are talking about these two guys. How do you think the pressure is weighing on them going into this season? I think they feel comfortable knowing that, you know, they've had a good spring and that they're they're healthy. They know what they uh, are, are ready for the season. The pre you know, actually, I think it's kind of good that they're starting on the road for the first couple of games and give themselves four games a chance to get a home run or two um, into the column, you know, get, get uh, something going before they head home and maybe pressure starts them out. I, you know, the late stick Michael told me years ago that he always thought players needed to go off to a good start because he remembers his own start as a professional baseball player in 1959 when he went 0 for 40 or something like that. And he always remembered that it, it just takes a lot of pressure off somebody. So if Stanton can hit a home run here early, if Judge can hit a home run here early, you've got four games before you head back to New York, um, that'll probably take some of the pressure off. Sweeney, I happen to think Gary Sanchez is the best hitter on this team. Uh, what do you think of me saying that? And how high do you think are how the Yankees? How dare you, sir? <laughs> how high do you think the Yankees' <laughs> expectations are for him going into this season? I, um, I, I well, Ronald Torres is probably offended when you say that. <laughs> um, I, I think that you're not alone, for one. Uh, no. San, you know, I did a big feature on Sanchez uh, for WFAN.com a couple of weeks ago. And there is just this little feeling that Sanchez is the guy that's hidden, that's protected in all the Stanton and Judge hype, and that he may be the best guy, the best hitter on this team. He has just as much power as those two guys, displays it just as often in batting practice, and is feared for all the things he can do because he's a really great hitter, not just a home run hitter. Behind the plate, he's worked very hard. This is a big season for him. He took some hits criticism late last season he's worked really hard this spring the guys on this staff the coaching staff the manager all have their eyes on him for the first time they love what they've seen from him is from his work ethic this spring the guys around him in the lineup the hitting coaches they all look at this guy just marvel at what he can do and how hard he's worked this spring yeah you're you're not wrong in thinking that he uh, Josh Bard told me that he's ready to take off, explode this season, and he's already had a couple of pretty good years under his belt. Sweeney, we know the Yankees were looking to add a starting pitcher this winter, the Garrett Cole talks, which were endless and then ended up not going anywhere as Cole went to Houston. There's obviously the potential for depth issues there with health. How do the Yankees feel coming out of spring now that they've got the group that they have? Obviously, they could add later, but are they more confident now than they perhaps were in at the winter meetings or in January that this group can get them through the season? I, I've always felt, Andy, that what they have right now is a staff that can start the season, and I think they're very comfortable with that. Uh, might you have some concerns with having CC Sabathia or Masa Hiratanaka hold up over the course of the uh, season? I don't think you're un under any illusions that both of those guys are going to give you 32 starts during the year. But I think if both of them gave you, you know, 25 to 28, you'd be pretty happy knowing what their past has been the last couple of years. Uh, Sonny Gray is the guy here who I'm really interested to see a full season of him. He just looked a lot more at ease, a lot more relaxed this spring than I saw him at any point last year. I think he's really looking forward to getting started uh, really in earnest uh, as, as a Yankee for the first time. And other than that, you know, you've got the young guys, Montgomery and Severino, who, you know, you don't really have any concerns about them, but you want to kind of protect them as the season goes on if you have the opportunity. 
All that being said, they're fine to start the year. Everybody stayed healthy. They have a good rotation to start the year. Will they be looking for help as the uh, trade deadline approaches? I think they absolutely will. I think that's a way to fortify themselves, much like they did with Gray last year. But I don't think they're in any danger. I don't think they're in a hurry to look for starting pitching right now.